It's a green, black, and orange. Oh my god, I said orange. I don't say orange. I say orange. I'm one of those people. And it just came out normal. I don't know who I am right now. It's like if I'm going to the trouble of making a candle called Gothic Dream or Creepy Carnival or Darkling Hollow, you know, things like that, I, I really want the scent to reflect what that product is. Like, I want it to take you somewhere. This is the kind of stuff that I think of when it comes to walking around on a crisp fall night with like a little hat, a little like jacket on, your hands in your pockets, there's a breeze, it's just like, and fall is in the air, the spookiness is in the air. This is the kind of stuff that comes out of that air. I sound crazy. It's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. They call me the scent queen. I like it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I know I look terrible and please don't <laughs> don't don't do the thing that you always that you guys always do that's like super nice and I appreciate it. You're just like, oh you don't look terrible. No no no. I am aware that I look terrible. I always look terrible these days. I I can't be bothered to do my hair. I can't be bothered to do makeup. I can't be bothered to put on a bra, but that's another story. I have just been working so much. Oh god, okay, so this crazy month <laughs> I don't think things through. I mean, I do, but there's nothing I can do about it. So on top of like regular candle orders, okay, let's see if I can break this down. Regular candle orders. And then I just released the collection, the Pirates collection from the Dead Man's Chest box. So if you want individual items from the August subscription box, you can get them in any product, all the scents, any product, any of the products that I make. That's available now, um, the Dead Man's Chest collection. It's right there on the front page, can't miss it. And then also, <laughs> I'm doing the Creepy Carnival box, which is, you know, the upcoming box. So I'm working on that right now. Uh, I have some products here that I will show you in a minute. Awesome. Awesome. Super proud of them. Can't wait. On top of that, normally I just have like regular orders and subscription box to deal with. Hi Scrappy. You want to say hi? Hey! <laughs> Who's cute? Yes, you want to go upstairs and lay down? Yes, you want to go upstairs and lay down? Bless you. Go on, go lay down. <laughs> yes, go lay down. Go on. Mama has to stay down here and work, but you can go lay down. <laughs> He's like, aren't you coming? <laughs> it's like he needs permission. Fine, I'll walk you upstairs. Come on. <laughs> yes? Yes, you're so cute. You lay up here while Mama works. See, I also have my hands full taking care of this one and the two furry things. All right, Mama's gonna go work. You make yourself comfortable, okay? Anyway, so I normally just have regular orders in the subscription box you know, that's currently going on uh, to contend with and that's fine. But like I said, I got both of those plus I had to make the individual product release of the pirate stuff. And on top of that too, I'm trying to get ahead of the game and design uh, all the products for Halloween because I know how important Halloween is to y'all as well as myself since my store is, you know, spooky stuff. I would be a fool What are you doing? Go lay down, honey. <laughs> I would be a fool to not try my hardest to make Halloween the most epic thing ever because this is the first Halloween that we've had the subscription boxes. Uh, last year I did the contests, which gave me the idea for the subscription boxes. <laughs> uh, I can't do the contest this year. I'm so sorry, I want to, the giveaway contest. Uh, maybe some other time when I'm not already like worn thin to the bone about stuff. Scrappy, go lay down, buddy. What are you doing? Go lay down. <laughs> All right. All right, fine. We will continue up here with the dog. And if you haven't met Scrappy, this is Scrappy. He has his own Facebook page. Well, his own Facebook friend profile. You can friend him. Follow his wonderful... Oh my god, I look terrible. Follow his wonderful posts and videos. He has and pictures because you're so cute. You are. So anyway, I need to make Halloween really, really epic, right? Since we're doing the subscription boxes, this is the first Halloween we're doing the subscription boxes. 
You picking up what I'm laying down? <laughs> I'm gonna do the box with a select type, uh, select individual products. And then I'm also gonna do a regular Halloween product release that is separate from the box. Totally different products. So if you order the box and go on a Halloween new item shopping spree, you won't accidentally get double products. That's the reason for that. <sighs> I've tripled my workload because of this. And uh, by the way, the Halloween stuff, not the subscription box, but the new Halloween individual items for this year will be, we're looking at a late August release. So, and on top of all that, I don't know what day it is right now, I have no idea. I wanna say it's like the 8th or something. I actually have no clue. I haven't driven for Uber in long enough that I can't remember how long it's been since I've driven for Uber. <laughs> That's how long it's been. I've just exclusively been working on products and orders, which is awesome. That's been like my lifelong dream to exclusively be able to do this. And who knew? Yes, who knew that it would finally happen? And that's thanks to you guys. I, 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 I'm verklempt over here. I, I just don't even know how to express how grateful I am that you guys like my stuff so much. And I actually am able to do this full time now. But at the same time, I'm also happy that it's not always gonna be a guaranteed thing. So I do have the Uber there if I you know need a couple of bucks here and there to sustain me if it's not you know what I mean like it's it's like the perfect scenario for me and I love it so on top of all that on top of all that work I'm foolishly going out of town <laughs> for several days in mid-August which means I won't be able to be working on stuff here. So since I'll be out of town for like five days, I think it is, five or six days, I won't be here to work on stuff, which means I have to do it all now. Not only am I tripling my workload, I have to do it all with five or six day chunk missing in when I would normally be able to work. So um, yeah, I'm working a lot. What you doing? <laughs> You're such a cutie poo. There's that, but we have a lot to look forward to because I've been working really hard, really hard, trying to think of good, no, no, not good, epic, awesome, spookier than you've ever seen before, products for not only the Halloween box, but the regular Halloween product release. We're doing that. Like, like my brain is all over the place. Like, I have so much to keep track of right now, and I remember to do. Remember, I do everything. It's not just throwing on my little candle making apron and pouring some wax. <laughs> like, you know, I, I wish it was sometimes, but, you know, there's so much more work that goes into the stuff than just pouring candles and sitting on the couch and watching Netflix, you know, until I go to sleep. You know, there's website updating. I have to update the website when I get new products. I have to update the products. I have to type the listings. I have to photograph the products and like crop them and make sure they look good and like upload the pictures and organize everything. You know, I have to do each individual listing, which takes a while. Uh, type it all out and make sure it's all good. <laughs> you know, and then um, obviously just keep that website updated, make sure everything is current and up to date, like adding the body sprays, adding the body sprays to the subscription boxes which is going to be a thing now moving forward starting with the creepy carnival box which a lot of you guys have already signed up for which is awesome so if you want to do that you have until august 25th creepy carnival box is going to be awesome there's designing the products obviously i have to like brainstorm i have this big fat notebook where i just like write down ideas just any idea that comes to my mind that is related to the theme that i'm going for it doesn't matter if it's dumb that's what brainstorming is and then i go back through it and i'm like okay i can work with this i can work with this and i work with this i change the names if i have to i you know scratch out the ones that are stupid and then i you know take the name and i think okay what scent is this going to be and then i think of scents and then i go to my supplier see what they've got kind of work together with that and then i have to come up with the colors and then i have to design the labels and the packaging right and that that takes a while because I have to, you know, find the perfect image, uh, design the perfect image, you know, find the perfect font, you know, find the perfect design for the image and the font, you know, describing it and stuff. And d d designing the labels takes a really long time. It takes like three days to make 10 labels 
okay? And, <laughs> and then I have to like make the products, I have to make the sample products, put the labels on and like this is where the picture taking comes in and then I have to upload the pictures and create the listings and everything, make sure that's all perfect. And then, you know, when people order stuff, obviously I have to make the products. I make the candles, I make the body sprays, I make the sugar scrubs, I make the body butters, you know? And I have to print all those labels out. I have to get everything organized and prepped and everything with all the labels and like lay it all out and then know exactly what I'm doing and like do all the stuff with the with the making of the stuff <laughs> and then I have to go through the orders and print the packing slips and figure out which size box it has to go in how much does it weigh you know for the for the shipping label you know and do that and then I have to print off the packing slips I have to print off the shipping labels and then of course obviously I have to package everything you know packing peanuts tissue paper bubble wrap the inserts I have to design and print the inserts as well you know like announcing the next box and everything and I mean it's just so much work for one person this is not me complaining by the way I just I JJ didn't even understand it he's lived with it for four years he's finally understanding how much work this is for me like he I don't know what he thought I was doing <laughs> while he was at work but a couple of days like as I typically don't work when he's home because that's family time I, you know we hang out we watch movies you know we go to the movies we go to eat you know we just sit and chill you know we play video games you know whatever so he doesn't see it Typically he just like comes home and goes oh you've been making stuff because the house smells awesome And like there's a whole slew of products sitting on my on my table downstairs a couple of nights I've been so busy that I I've had no choice but to work while he was here He would thankfully be <laughs> wrapped up in like a, a Dark Souls game. He's been playing the Dark Souls Trilogy and now he's about done with Dark Souls 3, but he was over there busy with that and since we have the living room now We're on the same floor and I literally was working like I think I worked 12 hours that day and he was he was here to see all of it because you know he was here, he was on the couch. I was designing the labels on the computer right next to him and I was showing them to him as I was going. You know, I'd take like an hour and a half to do one label and I'd be like, hey, check it out, look at that. He's like, oh wow, yeah. And then I'd come over and I would make products, you know, and he's seeing me going this and that and, this, and he's just like, I had no idea. I know, I, I made him help me pack boxes one time because he thought it took two seconds. That's what he said. Because I remember he asked me to do a favor for him one night, like run to the grocery store or something. I'm like, honey, I have to pack boxes. I have stuff to do. I can't, I, I literally, I hate using the word literally, but it's applicable here. I literally don't have the 15 minutes to devote to go to the grocery store because I have to get these boxes packed. And he was just like, Pfft. Well, that takes like two seconds and I'm like we're gonna teach you a lesson today so it was like something like six months later and I had a crap ton of stuff to pack and I'm like hey you want to help me <laughs> so I made him help me and it took us three hours with both of us three hours to package up all my orders and he and I was like two seconds you say and he's like yeah I had no idea like I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's gonna be just down your pants. So weird and cute. Yes, you're a cutie poo. He loves being next to his mama. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're so sweet. <laughs> my little doopsy. You're so cute. Yes, my sweet little poops. And so, anyways, this is turning into a big rambling thing that I didn't intend. But anyways, the point of the story. My bud. <laughs> It's <laughs> so cute. The point of the story is that I am crazy busy and very bright right now. So I've got some current orders cooking over here. This is a very small amount of orders because I just packed up and sent out the uh, dead man's chest boxes. In fact, everybody's gotten them already. I just kind of reorganized this whole area to make my life easier. I know it looks it looks like a hellish mess, but I promise it is extremely organized and it's exactly how I need it to be. I actually just got this new shelf, which JJ called an eyesore, but he can get over it because I run an entire business from 10 square feet of space in a corner. So... <laughs> Watson's in the box. Yeah, we, we are forbidden to throw out this Avery Labels box that uh, my Avery Labels arrived in because the cats have claimed it as their sitting box and we know how cats are with boxes, so we can't get rid of this box now. Oh, you sweet little baby. Oh my god. Watson, you are so cute. Okay, so this is the brand new 
uh, Hunter World Connection shelf that I purchased and put together and stocked uh, because we've got a lot of stuff that they're they're just I mean look look at that look that's the headquarters yeah there just wasn't room it was getting claustrophobic it was crazy so we've got the um, body spray stuff we got some body butter stuff down there as well these are all the fragrances I want to just give you a deep look so you can see how many fragrances there are. There are a lot. There's some over here. I have not counted how many fragrances I have, but if I had to guess, I would say it's a, at least 200, probably more like 250. I had, if I had to guess, because I do a lot of stuff and I always come up with new stuff. Is she gonna go upstairs? Go on. Go lay down, buddy. It's like he wants to go upstairs and lay down because that's his favorite spot to lay, but he wants to stay down here with me. Like I can, I can, I can, I can feel the decision-making cogs turning in his little brain. Well, go upstairs then. Go lay down. <laughs> I was gonna say about <laughs> a lot of you guys have referred to me as, as the scent queen, which I think, ugh, I think is awesome. I take great compliment with. Uh, with that uh, descriptive name. I love it so much. Makes me happy and I don't disagree. Crystal just made a video and by the way I loved her hair. It, her hair is amazing. Okay, I'm jealous. I don't even need to bother with my hair anymore. Crystal has the market market cornered as far as cool hair goes. I will link her video in the description below. You guys need to see it and you need to see her new pet friend Spooter. You have to. She was having trouble describing the scents in the video that she made which I told her do not feel bad about that because I even have trouble describing what my stuff smells like and I put them together like I curate them I think of them I know exactly what's in my stuff and I still have trouble describing what it smells like it's so hard she brought up a good point that I never even thought of because I'm not like one to like wallow in my awesomeness but maybe I should sometimes because it actually is pretty awesome what I do when I stop to think about it she said that um, other companies like big companies like Bath and Body Works and Yankee Candle and whatnot like they have I don't remember the exact terminology she used but I'm gonna use my own they have like basic sense that she said that you could find a dupe of somewhere else you know because they are basic and they are I mean not saying that they're bad because you know who doesn't just love like a candle that smells like apple cinnamon right but it's like yeah they are just kind of basic and you can find them across the board what I try to do and what I've always tried to do from day one with gothic dream my first my first candle I try to think outside the the scent box if you will instead of just and somebody else said this too oh god who was it Geneva good god I'm so sorry I told you lots of stuff going on in my brain right now Geneva ordered the creepy carnival and you're back. Well, go lay down. Go lay in your bed. <laughs> Walk under the piano like a weirdo. <laughs> Geneva ordered the, I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> the creepy carnival body sprays and uh, left a really awesome review on my website which made me very happy but she said other other places scent companies you know who make things like this they tend to just like make a a basic scent a generic scent and just slap a cool name on it and pass it off whereas I and she is absolutely correct here whereas I she said actually curate the scent combination to fit the theme of the item's name and you know purpose and everything which is correct that is what I've been doing since day one because I was like well <laughs> I could just make an apple cinnamon candle and call it like I don't know dominatrix breath or something you know what I mean and then just like I don't I just it feels skeezy to me to do that it's like if I'm going to the trouble of making a candle called gothic dream or creepy carnival or darkling hollow you know things like that i i really want the scent to reflect what that product is like i want it to take you somewhere i want it to create like a, a, a feeling an atmosphere all on its own i don't want it to just be like someone walks in like ooh. That's a lovely apple cinnamon candle you have burning and it just says like apple cinnamon candle well thank you you know i don't it, it, i am really big on atmosphere i got that from my mom and i'm really big on i don't know imagination and like being like i said transported to a mindset and just awakening uh i know it just sounds so dumb but i i live in my brain i live in my own brain as 
I mean, yes, technically everybody does, but I'm not, I've never really been adherent to reality in like a grounded sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like I have always had like an imagination. And I'm, I'm always, it's like a childlike wonderment in the way that I view the world. And like a starry sky and a nice breeze and like the smell of a bonfire, it just feels like a whole world on its own. Just that scenario right there and I'm just able to like fold into that feeling and breathe it in and bask in it. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid weird, but that's what I try to do with my products. Really long rambly way of getting to that, but that's what I try to do. So when it comes to scent curation, I try to take, I take, I, I don't just pick scents. Sometimes I do because it's pertinent to what I'm doing. Like for example, the Freak Show Funnel Cake Sugar Scrub for the Creepy Carnival Box. You know, that's kind of straightforward. It's, I mean, it's funnel cake, so it's going to be funnel cake, right? So I mean, there's stuff like that where it is kind of straightforward and I want it to be straightforward and that's sort of the point. But when I'm trying to create an atmosphere with something like Creepy Carnival or Gothic Dream, I mean, can I think of any other examples? I have like 200 candles for crying out loud. Grim Reaper, Darkling Hollow, you know, Cemetery Picnic, you know, stuff like that. It's to create a mood. It's to set a scene. It's to get your mind to go there while you're smelling it. The scent has to reflect that. So often I don't go into it thinking, okay, this is going to smell like this and this and this and this, like specific scent wise. I think, okay, I try to put myself in that, in that position. I try to put myself there. What would a gothic dream smell like? And I try to imagine it. I try to go there in my mind and I think about what the atmosphere what the aura, what the air would smell like. I'm very, very attuned to scents, okay? Winter has a smell, fall has a smell, summer has a smell, spring has a smell. And I'm not talking about basic smells like fall smells like pumpkin, spring smells like flowers. It's so much more complex than that, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. Fall has a scent. And I'm talking about like the air, the feeling, the atmosphere, the environment. It has a scent that you might not be able to put your finger on, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I really try to think, okay, I'm smelling this in my brain. It's an imaginary scent at the moment, but we're gonna try to bring it to life, right? What am I smelling? At first I pull up the scent and then I think, okay, what is that? How can I create that? How can I make it a reality? I take what I'm given, <laughs> <laughs> in reality from my scent supplier that has like more than 2,000 fragrances, which is awesome. And I kind of blend stuff to create the scent that I'm thinking of, or at least get as close as I possibly can. The way that Crystal was describing Creepy Carnival, she was having a really hard time, which is totally fine. I don't think I would be able to describe it any better, to be honest. I know exactly what's in it, but it's like, I really wish I could tell you guys my formulas. I wish I could just like pick up the bottles and show you exactly what I use to make each thing. And I, and it's like, it's not that I don't want to because I think you're gonna steal it. It has nothing to do with that. It's just the whole trade secret thing. I am able to claim trade secrets because when it comes to fragrance combinations, secret ingredients and recipes, you are allowed to do that. You do not have to disclose your secret ingredients, okay? As far as that goes, to make a specific thing the way that you make it, you're allowed to keep that secret and I'm going to. Uh, JJ doesn't even know. <laughs> and even if he did, he, he doesn't care. <laughs> but when it comes to, I, I usually combine two, sometimes three. I'll take a base, like a strong base that gives the basic underlaying scent right? Like for example, I'm okay with telling you one of them. Which, which, which one will I tell you guys? Uh, we're gonna talk about Haunted Hayride right now, okay? So this is one of last year's Halloween candles, I believe, and um, it's still selling. This is a product that someone ordered. This is a candle that I had to make for an order. So Haunted Hayride, descriptively it says hay, spiced pumpkin, and cedar. Yes, okay. This is the scent that I would expect my my brain to be filled with. Not necessarily my nose, because not all scents are identifiable by nose. You ever do that? You ever catch a whiff of something, and then you actually try to smell it, and it's gone, and you can't, but you can smell it without smelling it? Does that make sense? You know, like your boyfriend or your girlfriend has 
their own scent, but when you try to smell it, you can't smell it. It's super weird, right? The human brain is fascinating. So that's the scent that I'm trying to tap into when I, when I make this stuff. So Haunted Hayride, I will tell you what I use. Okay, so I was like, okay, Haunted Hayride. What are you gonna smell on a Haunted Hayride? What, what theme are we conveying? What atmosphere are we creating? We go to the stacks and we've got Hayride. This is a scent called Hayride. Uh, it's complex. I don't know what's in it. So I'm kind of the middleman when it comes to the fragrances because I don't know how the supplier curates these fragrances because they are also blends of things. So hmm, I'm just bringing them to magical life. So this is Hayride. That's what we use in the Haunted Hayride. Also, what we also use is Spiced Pumpkin. So there you go. It's pretty straightforward. Hayride and Spiced Pumpkin. And then we get our Haunted Hayride which smells like Hayride and Spiced Pumpkin, if you have to put a, a specific note to it, right? And now Watson has migrated to the deluxe box. This is a nice box that Papa made for you so that we could finally throw away the Avery one, but you guys won't give it up. But he put a nice bed in there for you, and I'm glad you like it. Houdini won't touch this one, but I'm glad that you like it. Cats in their boxes. <laughs> yes. So it's things like that. You know, I I, oh, I want to tell you my secret formula for Creepy Carnival, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I can't give that one away. That's that's like a favorite. And I want to tell you guys so bad because it's so simple. <laughs> but I'm not doing it. So um, I'm just going to show you guys real quick a couple of the products that are going to be in the Creepy Carnival box. If you made it this far, thank you. You're awesome. And then I really have to get to work because uh, it looks like these are cooled now. So I have to do the top layers. And then I have uh, some body sprays to make. I've got uh, body butters and sugar scrubs to make as well. I need to eat at some point, probably. All right, so the Creepy Carnival box is going to have all things Creepy Carnival, and uh, it's not going to have the actual Creepy Carnival product in it, but that was the inspiration for the box, because I'm like, gosh, there's so much I could do with this, right? So we've got, I love this candle. It's pink, white, and black. It's so pretty. It's Haunted Carousel. See the crazy demonic horse? I love it. Haunted Carousel, it smells like cotton candy bubble gum. And yes, it is different. It is different than the actual just straight up cotton candy scent that is in, I think, two of my products along with other stuff. It's not just straight cotton candy, but this is cotton candy bubble 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 bubble. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I don't have to speak for a living or anything. Yeah, this is cotton candy bubble gum, and I just think that that's, I don't know, a super cool looking candle. I had tried to make the haunted part on the label look all, you know, like, ooh, yeah, it's haunted, you know, but I just love the colors too. It's like sweet and innocent, but also dark and scary. So that's gonna be in the Creepy Carnival box. Uh, the 16 ounce specifically, the only two boxes that get 16 ounce candles with the three wicks are the Mega and Monster boxes. So keep that in mind. Mind. There is a detailed list of what is in each size box on the monthly subscription box uh, page and the listing. So there's not going to be any question about what types of products, what sizes you're going to get. You can definitely check that out and go look at that. Okay, and then another one that we have. I love this one. It's a green, black, and orange. Oh my god, I said orange. I don't say orange. I say orange. I'm one of those people. And it just came out normal. I don't know who I am right now. Anyway, so this one's great. It's called Cackling Clown. So there's definitely a cackling clown in the background there with uh, the label, the, you know, words are all askew because that was the idea. And this one smells like gooey caramel corn because of course it does. Hmm. Hmm. This just takes me right to the streets of a carnival, haunted or not. This is like the essence of carnival in a candle right here. You know what I mean? So Cackling Clown is going to give you your gooey caramel corn is what that's going to be about. And then uh, these are some wax melts. I'm uh, pretty sure these are going to be melts, but it's also going to be a candle. Uh, but for the most part, they're going to be melts. This is Ringmaster. I love it. Look at that hat. Look at that creepy hat. I freaking love it. So this is Ringmaster, and he's going to be wax melts in most of the boxes. And a candle in, I think, the monster box. I, I can't. It's very hard for me to keep track of all the stuff. I got so much going on right now. But anyway, so Ringmaster. This is an interesting scent combination. I kind of went off the, the limb on this one, but it's very interesting. But it works because, you know, whoa! I just popped that open and the scent just went... Woohoo! 
Woo! So I think like a ringmaster, again, this is how I create the sense for these things. I thought ringmasters are creepy, right? They're creepy. And especially since it's a creepy carnival, it's not just like a, yay, step right up and have some fun. Hee 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 hee. You know, it's not like Dick Van Dyke. It's more like the child catcher, right? <laughs> Creepy, eerie, kind of hunchbacky, the long, you know, coattails flapping, the tattered top hat. <laughs> Watson gets it. You okay, buddy? Anyway, so I wanted it to just be like, you know, <clears throat> pow. So, and that's exactly what it is, because I just cracked the sucker open and it just, it powed me in the face. So it's a little weird. It's good. It's very unique. It's weird, which is what you would expect from a creepy ringmaster, right? It's hay and huckleberry. I don't know why, but that's what happened. And I'm having the hardest time explaining this because it's good. It's almost like the kind of scent that you sniff it and then you can almost taste it in the back of your throat. In, in a good way, you know, like like a like a juice. God, the human brain is so interesting. But anyway, it's, it's gonna be in the box. <laughs> Sorry, I'm spending way too much time on this. Okay, and then another one, this is gonna be um, a, a melts and a body butter, I believe. So yeah, we're, we're spanning the different products with some of the scents here because they're just, they were too good to just hang on to in one product. So this is Cursed Candy Apple. Look at that, I love that label. I am super proud of that label. I love it. And I wanna say this is gonna be a body spray too. I honestly can't remember, it's just so crazy. But anyway, Cursed Candy Apple is basically just a caramel candy apple. Basic, but, mm. So this is gonna be like kind of fall scents, you know, we're getting into fall. This is the kind of stuff that you want to like walk around on a brisk autumn evening, you know, at maybe a street fair or your, your local carnival. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I know what I mean, but I don't know how to convey it. Take my word for it. This is the kind of stuff, this is awesome. This is the kind of stuff that I think of when it comes to walking around on a crisp fall night with like a little hat, a little like jacket on, you get your hands in your pockets, there's a breeze, it's just like, and fall is in the air, the spookiness is in the air. This is the kind of stuff that comes out of that air. I sound crazy. You know what I mean. Okay, so, and then we've got a body spray. Uh, there's gonna be a couple body sprays, like I said, but this is one of them. And I think this is gonna be in a candle as well. This is, I freaking love this label, House of Mirrors. Okay, I love how I did that. The freaking wavy font, you know, like a fun house mirror and it looks all funny, right? So this is gonna be in a candle and a body spray, but this is the body spray example. This is sour apple bubble gum. Nuff said, sour apple bubble gum is where it's at and I'm excited for that. That wasn't supposed to rhyme. And then of course we've got the freak show funnel cake, which I already showed you, but we'll give you a closer look. I love it. The funnel cake here and then that little skeleton guy being like, hey, here's your funnel cake. <laughs> I'm weird. Anyway, so this is just a basic funnel cake and sugar because that's what I try to do with the scrubs and the butters. Like I try to, God, that's so whited out you can't even see it. Oh my God. So it's, it's pink and white. I can see it perfectly fine with my own eyes, but for some reason, <laughs> take my, oh my God, take my word for it. It's pink and white. So it's just funnel cake and sugar, but yeah, that's what I try to do with the scrubs and the butters. Um, I make them like yummy scents and I try to keep them yummy scents instead of going crazy off the rails. I mean, sometimes I do. I try to make those things, but like you get something called Freak Show Funnel Cake, you know, want, you want a nice yummy funnel cake scrubby scent, you know, so that's what's gonna be. And this is also gonna be in a body butter as well in one or two of the boxes, the bigger ones. I don't remember. I don't know. Oh, and just for fun, here's the Ringmaster candle, by the way. I had it sitting off to the side all lonely and forgotten, but yeah, so this is what the candle's gonna look like. It's red, black, and white. Yeah, it has that super hard to describe. Mm, trickles down the back of your throat. It, it's like so freaking Violet Beauregard, like, oh my God, I can actually feel it running down my throat. <laughs> I'm not, but like, that's the thing. You don't taste it. It just goes straight in your nose and then just feels like it's running down your throat like a yummy juice. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what, you guys will have to know what I, whatever. Anyway, so Ringmaster, good God, good God. God, I, I just miss talking to you guys. I tend to yammer so much when it comes down to it. So anyway, that's what's gonna be in the creepy carnival box. 
that's not everything that's going to be in the Creepy Carnival box, but those are several primary um, products. I almost said ingredients. God. And uh, by the way, a uh, bonus shout out to everybody who got the Dead Man's Chest box and used your treasure map and found the buried treasure. Good job. I think six of you have done it now so far, and that makes me very happy. I'm pleased with that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then maybe you should subscribe to the boxes and you won't be left out of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag end guilt trip. Anyway, so I need to get back to work. Thank you again to everybody who has ordered and continue to support my stuff because I try very hard to make really good stuff for you guys. And I'm floored at how many people order my stuff. Like, to me, it's so weird because it's like, to me, I'm just sitting here making candles. You know, like I'm doing it constantly, don't get me wrong. Like I said, like I am always working, okay? But like, I've always, always worked. I don't know how to be idle. I've never been idle. Even when I was a teenager, I was always doing something. Like I did not know how to just sit down and watch a movie. You know, I mean, I did it occasionally, but I was always doing something. I was always writing a story, painting or drawing or creating or making a mixtape. <laughs> you know, I was always doing something. So for me, this feels normal working around the clock because I don't know what else I would do with my time. Like when there is a very rare day that creeps up when I like legitimately have actually nothing to do, like I'm 100% caught up, I don't know what to do. I kind of go nuts. I'm just like, I, I need to be doing something. There has to be something to do, right? And then I like find something to do. I like d d tweak my website for no reason whatsoever. Or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 go, I go nuts if I'm not being productive. It's weird when I stop to think about it because like to me, I'm just doing what I always do. I'm just making stuff. I'm doing stuff. But when I stop and actually like process it and you know, look at your guys' reviews that you post on Instagram, like and YouTube, like your videos, your photos, you know, your reviews, your unboxings and you know, everything. And then I, and then I actually like settle down for a second and actually absorb it. And I'm just like, whoa like i made that someone wanted it they ordered it i sent it to them now they have it and they're using it and they aren't the only one just like hundreds of people across the country and the world who have my stuff that i made right here that started right here and that's the weirdest feeling, let me tell you, when I dwell on it too much, I, I kind of have like an existential crisis because to me, it's like a nugget that started in here. Creepy Carnival was just a nugget in here and I wrote it down in a notebook and then I made it and now people are buying it like crazy in all my different products, the candles, the body butters, the sugar scrubs and the body sprays and they're using them and posting about them and talking about them and enjoying them and it's just so weird because <laughs> it came from here and now it's out there for realsies and it's just i don't know it's cr i can't think about it anymore i'm gonna have like a anxiety attack <laughs> but yeah it's just so crazy to me when i stop and think about it and it's so cool it's so cool it's just really hard to comprehend sometimes but it's so cool when i say i'm grateful I don't even mean like, ooh, thank you for, you know, throwing money at me and like, you know, <laughs> and making, letting me pay my rent. It, 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 that, that's not even what I mean. I mean, that that's part of it. I appreciate finally being able to focus on this, you know, and having it be my financial cornerstone, finally, after 13 years. But what I really mean when I thank you guys for supporting me and buying my stuff and liking my stuff is it's so personally, it's personal. It's personal. It's like every time someone orders something and every time someone has something nice to say about one of my products, every time a picture gets posted or a YouTube video gets put up with my stuff in it, it just, it's like a piece of me. It's like I sent you a piece of myself and you're taking care of it for me. 
I know it sounds really cheesy, but like that's what it feels like. It's like a piece of me because it came from here and then I you made it with my own hands and now you have it and you're enjoying it and it's just I'm so grateful for that. Like I'm so grateful. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's harder to describe than my sense. I'm I'm yammering. I need to go, I need to get to work and I'm so sorry. But anyway, um if you watched this far into the video, Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, don't forget to watch out for the sheep as always. Uh, vlog praise of the day. I haven't done that in a while. Wow. Vlog praise of the day is um, thank you for loving me. <laughs> I can't sing for crap. That's a Bon Jovi song by the way. But that's the vlog praise of the day. Thank you for loving me because I love you too. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time. I love you. I appreciate you. Okay, bye.